from Harry. I think a lot of you will have come across Harry. I think one of the most philanthropic companies that are out there working in hospitality at the moment. So Roy, thank you very, very much for, for joining me. A pleasure. Just for those that don't know, do you just want to do a really sort of nutshell, Harry in a nutshell? Absolutely. For those who have joined this afternoon thinking that Roy Walker was going to be here for any <laughs> um, you know, catchphrases or game show entertainment, I can assure you or, or, or disappoint you that's not the case. Uh, what are Harry here to do? I think Harry's here to consumerise workplace technology. What the hell does that mean, you might ask? So essentially, gone are the days of the drop-down boxes and the spreadsheets and the data entry, sort of post-shift on your laptops, and welcome the days of um, consumer-style apps and really repurposing what your teams use in their personal and their consumer lives and bringing that into the workflows of how you engage with them as employee, employers to them, uh, your most important asset, which is your teams. And have you seen a big change in the last couple of years? Maybe since, I hate to say the COVID word, but has that, has that influenced the way that Harry has uh, interacted and how you've, how you've developed your software? Yeah, I think we try not to mention the C word or the B word, so let's, uh, let's not try and go there. Um, but I think it's a few things that we've seen. First of all, the people agenda has never been so front and centre. And we saw from opening remarks from Harry, not Harry the platform, but the legend himself, Harry, who opened the day-to-day, uh, the, the, um, a the -day, lot of focus on the people. Um, so let's leverage that as an HR and uh, hospitality community to uh, um, really um, bring that to the forefront. But we've seen uh, management roles and chef roles return to pre-pandemic levels in terms of application count, but those entry-level roles are still down 30%. So there's obviously an image problem and what we're trying to do, Jane, is uncover what that image problem is. So we partnered up with CGA, a uh, big publishing house, and we surveyed 5,000 employees in the industry and asked them, why do you start, stay and leave jobs? Well, they told us the familiar themes, right? Working hours, pay, rewards and benefits, diversity and inclusion, sustainability are those key reasons. And what I would encourage you to do is survey your own teams, not just the levers, but why do people join your business and why do people stay with your business? And once you know that, you can really start centering a uh, people strategy around those key drivers for us. And we've got a couple of minutes left. OK, I have, don't you sort of to speak talk. too much often. No, 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 that's brilliant. <laughs> but it's, I think it's so important that we give you the platform to talk about Hospitality Unite, because it's when I said about the philan philan philanthropic, uh, philanthropic yeah. I can say the word, I can't say philanthropy. Um, that's a really good thing. I really want you to tell everyone about how that started and what you've, what you've morphed that into more recently. Well, how that started was back in 2020, when uh, we set up uh, Hospitality Unite, which is a not-for-profit arm of Harry, um, where we aggregate jobs from essential uh, retail from delivery and care and uh, enabled uh, hospitality operators to send that link to their employees to find secondary employment in that time of crisis. Um, but obviously since then those dark days have gone, thank God, and hopefully we don't see them again. But now Hospitality Unite is reborn and we've joined up with uh, one of our clients of ours, Radisson Hotel Group, and also the Sustainable um, Hospitality Association uh, to host a not-for-profit platform to aggregate jobs for free to share with Ukrainian refugees coming out of that um, place of crisis. So it's completely free and not-for-profit. You can post your jobs on there. It's in English and it's in Ukrainian. And if you're a Harry client, it's literally click or toggle when your jobs, the relevant jobs can appear on there. If you're not a Harry client, we'll set you up for free. We'll do the implementation. We'll train you on the on the functionality and you can you can leverage that and do the right thing for people who um, who, uh, who who need our help how brilliant is that so a, a a source of staffing for all of us but also hopefully helping the people that have been displaced from ukraine so that is really i think worth a round of applause actually i think it's amazing um, and interestingly, I think we, we can wrap it up here, but later, a bit later on this afternoon, we've got Gabriel from Lima Restaurants talking to Chris Coles from our board, uh, also about bringing in people from overseas, different ways of approaching it. So there's a, one way that we can approach it differently. Right. And we're going to go on to another one a little bit later this afternoon. Thank you, Roy. That Thanks was absolutely amazing. All right, thank, thank you. you. Thanks, guys.